بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم do some people say that music is haram when you have so many sufis sufi muslims who consider music to be halal and they use it in a way to get closer to allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you need to decide who's going to answer that yourself He used to be Sufi. Is that what you said, Sheikh? Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salam, wa salam, wa salam. Something about music, and I can tell you from my personal experience, so I can kind of answer this one. First of all, um, yeah, I wasn't Sufi, Sheikh. Um, <laughs> I was uh, worse than Christian Sufi. Yeah. Um, I used to be obsessed by music. I used to listen to music every single waking hour of the day. There was times, if I didn't have music around my head, or around me, then I wasn't existing. Because, you know, a lot of people have a void inside them. And this is the real, the real issue is why you listen to music and why do you have to listen to music? Because your attachment with Allah is not good. Your attachment with the deen of Islam is not good. So what happened for three years as a Muslim, I was still listening to this music. You know, Tchaikovsky, Beethoven, Mozart, and all of the others, Shostakovich, some names you never even heard of probably. And then one day I was praying to Allah and this rift of Beethoven. Yeah, no, no, I'm not going to tell you. Yes, this is, uh, this is when I was Jahil. Anyway, it's kind of Jahil. So anyway, I was listening to this music and I was, play, I was uh, you know, praying and the prayer was not going right at all because I was listening and the music was coming into my head. And then it happened over and over again, and I stopped my salah, I made wudu again, and the music kept com coming to my head. So what I did, I got hold of all the music, and I threw it out in the bin, and the music died in my heart, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala got stronger for me. And I'm telling you that from my own personal experience, you've got to get music, you've got to kick it out. It is the adhan of the shaitan. It is the calling of the shaitan. It's one of the ways the shaitan will put you off worshipping Allah and really establishing Islam in your lives and Allahu Alam. I'm going to add to, just one second, I'm going to add to it yes. really quickly because th this is going to be asked, you're going to ask about music, you're going to ask about mm -hmm. movies, this is going to continue to be asked. You know, it, you got to look at it, this, this is a, a, a soul problem. This is a problem that the, there's a part of our heart and soul that can only be filled by worshipping Allah properly. And when you don't do that, you will have that gaping hole inside of you. So what do people yeah. do? They try to fill it with other things. Music, music, gambling, drugs, alcohol. I mean, it just destroys people because they're trying to fill something inside themselves, which Allah has told us can only be filled through His remembrance. The heart would only find rest through remembering Allah. Everything else will only further agitate it. So you have to keep doing it more and more and increasing and increasing and increasing. You know, and just to give you a, a, a synopsis, an analogy, if you think you can fill your heart with this music, with these movies, with these drugs, with these alcohols, with this fornication, then do me a favor. Go to the ocean out here, go to the beach, and start trying to fill the ocean with sand. Once you have filled the ocean with sand, your heart will find rest. But, well, can I just say one thing? You know the term mortgage. Does anyone know where the term mortgage comes from? Mortgage. Death. It means how much death. You want death? Go and take a mortgage today. Sheikh Saeed has some comments. No, I don't think the question was answered. The question was, you know, it was explained, it was beautifully addressed, but Islamically it was not Sharia. Why is it haram? You, all the brothers, the, what, everything that they said is perfectly correct and is fine and your heart would, I agree, could not agree anymore. But why is it haram? Sufis, they use it. Why is it haram? Very simple. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran said, وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَنْ يَشْتَرِ لَهُ الْحَدِيثِ لِيُضِلَّ عَنْ سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, some of the people would buy Lahu al Hadith Abdullah ibn Mas'ud say, By Allah, it is the music. It is the music. They buy these things so they can divert people from the right path. What the reason the revelation of the eye was Al Harith bin Nadr. He used to bring women and music when the Messenger of Allah comes and he addressed the people and said, There's only one God to be worshipped. 
he used to bring his girls with music and used to say to them, sing and let what this man said to you be washed away from your heart. So that's why Allah said, وَمِنَ النَّاسِ And that's why the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi did not accept the Tawbah of Al-Harith bin Al-Nadr. He did not say, not Tawbah, but he did not say, I will never, I say, never send you free. The second reason we have Hadith Sahih al-Bukhari, Hadith al-Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, that the Messenger of Allah said there would be a time that the people would make that which is halal, haram halal. And he mentioned silk, alcohol, music. So in the Quran is haram, in the Sunnah is haram. Abdullah ibn Abbas radiyallahu anhu used to say, Wallahi, music is sanduq al-barid al-zina. Music is the mailbox or the carrier of, of um, adultery. And one of these people singing, brothers and sisters, they don't tell you to be good to your parents. They don't tell you to be a person of a role model, of, a, of morals, but they tell you to do this to this girl, to touch this, to do this, to do that, F this, F that. That's what they tell you. So Quran saying is haram, Sunnah is saying haram, ulama, majority of the ulama, except a few of them, like Ibn Hazm, others who did not, who were, who were raised in an environment of music, said is iffy, but the majority of the ummah, they say is haram. And the other part of the question, why is we saying haram while the Sufis are using it to bring people closer to Allah? The only way you can bring anyone closer to Allah is by following the Quran and the Sunnah. And if you're saying Sufis are using ways better than the ways of the Messenger of Allah, we will say you are incorrect and fear Allah concerning that. So that is one. And not because the group of people are doing, it's not part of the Sharia. And it won't be used as a Sharia. Wallahu a'ala wa'ala.